Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to start this project. This come more over here. It's uh I know guys, I keep disappearing. Um but I'm back. You guys aren't gonna get away from me that easily. Uh so yeah, I thought we'd start this project um of the little um I guess folio or little insert, I don't know what we would call it. But uh, all you need is one of these envelopes. And this one is a, I think it's a nine, nine and a half by four, I think it was, or four and a quarter. Nine and a half by four and a quarter. So this is all you need, just one envelope. And for starters, what we're gonna do is we gotta close it or seal the envelope. I hope everybody's doing good. I've just been a busy bee, guys. There's always something going on. And then my husband started working again. So that was also a little exciting. My camera is mounted to the table. I'm gonna try very hard not to shake the, the table too much. I don't wanna get you guys dizzy. Get my little bone folder here. And then we need to try and fold it as so. So I just went ahead and, and did this. I don't measure it. You can if you want to. Um, I just pretty much look at it. You definitely don't want it to touch. Come over here, Patty. You definitely don't want it to touch at the end. So to me, that's good. Hopefully you guys could see that. And But I do want this edge to go all the way. So, hold on guys. So yeah, just there and then just press down. And then you just go with your bone folder and squeeze down. So there we go, see? It's not hitting the score line hopefully that comes out um because yeah then it's just gonna bend it and stuff and we don't want that and then plus we're gonna make this into a pocket so we definitely don't want it to touch but as you could see i have a little bit uh it's less than a quarter inch but um yeah you just want to give it some space so as you could see there so now after we did our folds and we varnish them really good. Then you get your little paper trimmer. And we gotta cut, um, we're gonna cut both ends because both are gonna be our little tucks. And just a sliver, just enough to open the envelope. And then the other one. And if you get a, a envelope that's not straight, I mean, that's normal. They're, they don't come out normal. <laughs> so then after we do that, we're going to go back and open the top now. So press where I glued that. Now, does it fit? Yeah, it does. So then again, just a sliver to open it for that top pocket. there okay I think I dropped that on the floor pick it up later so then that's it with the with that so then this is what we should have so then once that's done then we're gonna start um, collaging or adding paper um, I did collage on this one so this is the inside this is the outside the only thing I don't recommend is if you collage just collage the whole thing as a piece 
I don't recommend that because then when you do the fold, you get bulkiness on the ends and also on the inside. And I don't like that. So, and let me see. I should have pulled out the papers that I want, but I'm just going to pull out like a little stack that I have on. I have a tray over there where I just have all my scraps and papers for, for um, what do you call it? You know, to collage. And... So, see, I have some here that I've been using. So, the to me, the easiest way to do this... Let me move this to this side. I was working on another project. Get my glue book right here. And what I like to do is just... Um, pick, like I said, three... Three paper, maybe four... You know, but usually I I work in threes. Why? I don't know. I just do. But I'm just going to add a piece there. And then this other piece. I feel like I'm hearing somebody screaming outside. There, let me get my, this is an old bank card, just gotta make sure the numbers don't show. And then, uh, um, let me see, do I have, there's another piece. I just want to get a little bit so they can coordinate on each side. And I, I probably, I'm going to try to see if I can finish it in one video but if anything then we'll have a part two and I'm gonna say that one there gotta make sure I don't move the camera so then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna try to well let me see if I have more of that paper because it looks like that was it on that one And these papers that I'm using, they all, they're different digi kits. They're just, just mix. I just like to have a, a tray just of the papers that I like to use to collage, you know. Just have a, a variety to choose from. But I don't think I have this one anymore. So that one... I have this one, but it has brown. Okay, so we may have to switch it around a little bit on the other side then. So let's just finish this one. So then here, again, I'm just going to grab this piece. And just tear up our pieces. Now this one... Where I keep hearing somebody arguing outside. And as you can see, I'm going for neutral colors. That's just, um, I like that that style like that just neutral and especially when you want to do like a you know a little stack and just have them ready it's good to go neutral because you know um, let's say you decide to do a a journal with a touch of pink you know or red then you can just go ahead and add your color But one thing I did forget to do is I do like to do this just so I could see the, you know, the edge of each because it's white and I can't see, you know, when you're blind, that happens. 
And here, I have to cut. Make sure I'm in frame. And I'm going to let it stick out so I can cut it off. And try not to get too, like I said, in the edge. Because it'll lift up. And then I have this small piece. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. And then I have this one here. Just cut a piece off. Say right there. And then another piece. I do want it to be straight for this edge, so I'm going to put that there. Get my ruler. I need to find my, my favorite ruler that I like to use. I don't know where I put it at. It's my metal ruler. <sighs> um, I don't know where I put it at. I know I'm always putting stuff in containers, taking stuff here to go work in my room bring it back here, you know, just drag it everywhere, then I forget. Then I'll end up finding a container with stuff in there and, oh, there's my scissors, there's my ruler, there's my, you know. Um, oh no, it's over here. And then I definitely want a piece here. Try to cover this also with this kind of paper. I like collaging, especially in small projects like this, because they're easy to fill. <laughs> easy to fill up. Have this little piece. Where can I fit it? Okay. Oops. Sticking to me. I'm thinking of putting some here. Whoops. Maybe it's my son's TV. I think that's probably what I hear because I keep hearing voices. <laughs> Unless I got a ghost in here that wants to scrapbook. Wants to do projects. Okay, so I still have places and um, move these to this side. And I have these small bits from other projects. Thinking of 
putting that one there. But we have a straight one here. Okay, so I still got that little corner there. <clears throat> but I need to find a little itty bitty piece. <gasps> this way, this way. Well, actually, no, this way. It's going to be backwards, but that's okay. And then maybe some of this plain one. Mm. I just need a small one. Paper sticky already. Oh, beam. And whatever's hanging, I'll just cut it at the end. Okay, so we're done with that one. Here, we just need this edge there. <clears throat> so I'm thinking this piece here. Okay, so now here we got this piece here and this little piece there. Like that. Yeah, that'll fit there. <clears throat> Now we got this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I keep clearing my throat. Allergies, allergies. Okay, cold days, hot days. It's it's no joke. Okay, so I'm gonna say there. Okay, so we have that done. Make sure I didn't miss a spot, but no. So there we have that one. So now let's just flip it over and start on this side. And it, like I said, it'll probably be a little different because, you know what, let me change my, my page because it's sticky already. Throw you over there. And I did, I remember in the last video where I shared, um, well, that little, little insert. What is that, a folio? I guess it would be a folio, huh? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't have it backwards. But I did get write down the information. 
so I gotta remember to share that before anything. <clears throat> and I forgot to do this on this side. Okay. So then I have this piece left. Just gonna pop this way over here. And then I got this piece here. It will fit right there. It, I moved it. And I have these pieces. So I got to make sure I put them right here where I could see them. And I found this piece here. Pop it right there. Yeah, but I was going to say, now that my husband's working, I'll have more time to do videos. I'm excited about that. It's just hard. I don't know if you guys are like me, but when hus husbands are home, I don't want to do anything, you know? I just You just want to be with them, do stuff with them, or just whatever, you know? It's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And now that he's home, I feel like, ah, I can do a lot. <laughs> I feel like I can do a lot. Okay, I need to get a, get a pair of scissors real quick. <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like if he's not here, then I can do stuff at home. I don't know, it's like I get lazy. Put it that way. I don't want to do anything really. And uh, when he's not home, I want to do all kinds of stuff. It was over here. I heard a noise. I thought the dog was getting out of its cage. What other piece of paper? There's that one. Oh, I found a piece of that one. Okay, I think that'll be good. This way. Right there. And then I'm going to straighten this side. get more of the 
the thick glue sticks. I only have the the little thin ones. I have a lot of them, but you know, for projects like this, when you're using it, I like using the big ones. I think it went a little crooked. There. My sleeve is going down. Uh, it looks like I didn't put enough glue. Okay. I do have this piece here. Okay, so we got this still. Hmm. So now we just need to finish this side. I have this, but I don't know if I want the... Maybe not. That one won't fit. But this one's thicker. Yeah. That'll work. I am so sticky. Everything's sticking to me. And I didn't bring a white bee. Where are they? Oh, they're up there. Okay. Okay, so now we're just needing here. Where are we in time? I put my my phone in a different position and I can't see the time. Where is the time? Okay, well let's just let's just let it go and see where we get. Too small. I need, I need, I need, oh. oh, but I have that one on the bottom right there. Oh, I have this one. Okay, this can work.
I think there. Okay, guys, so we're done with that. Now I'm just going to go and trim out the excess, but trying to be very careful not to open the envelope. But if it does, it's okay because I plan to stitch around it, so... This one, but I didn't get a good grip. Oh, yeah, I'm just afraid to cut the envelope. What I should have done is cut the excess from one side and then the other first, but I didn't do that. These scissors aren't cutting good either. Where are my, I guess I could use these. Those don't work very well. Maybe it's me, huh, not the scissors. <laughs> up here okay get this out of the way so now from this part what we're going to do is we're going to distress it if you're going to distress distress it. I just love the way it looks. Ooh, learning to trim right there. Uh-oh. I got the envelope, guys. Ugh. Like I said, I'm going to stitch around it, but it happens. Nothing that can't be fixed. Okay, so I think we got that done. So then from this stage, before you sew it, you want to get your, your little um, circle punch this way. And we need to cut our little pieces there. I think this is the, I need to clean it, one and a half. So on the, on the inside is where this is where my pocket's going to go. But you can have it on the outside too, whichever you prefer. And I'm just going to hope that I get it kind of straight. Actually, I need to straighten this piece here. It's getting on my nerves. You know what? This is where I cut it. I thought I was cutting the envelope, and I oh no, I did. I did. Never mind. Take that back. Okay, so I'm just distressing that side because it's going to show. You could add a little piece of paper. You could add that little bit that we took off right there too. But uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that. If I change my mind, I'll leave it there. So okay, and then pick up all these bits and pieces out of the way. So we can have more space. There. So 
now let's come over here. Now the little circles, I did them also on the, you guys can't see, I did it on the inside and there's the one in the center. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So you want to do this before either you glue it or you sew it. I'm going to see there. I think one's bigger than the other. Don't do that, guys. Uh, and then, definitely going to have to do this here, too. We got our piece. So now from this point, I will go and sew. And what I did is here, I just sewed here, here, and here to close that. If you don't want to do that, and you can just glue them, but I recommend you glue also here on the on the centers here because you don't want your stuff to go, you know, all over the place. But I do want to sew it. But because of tutorial's sake, you know what? I'll just put a little bit of glue and we'll keep going. And then I could always, um, I could always sew on top of it. No big deal. As long as our glue is dried, we're good. So I'm just going to put a, a little bit of glue there. <laughs> Try to go straight, guys. <laughs> Because it looks like I'm not. And then here. And here. So if you're using glue, open it up. It doesn't matter which, which side. Just glue your creases there and then at the top. But not at the middle because that's our pocket. So then we just close it. Put my book there while I close my glue. Pick up my little pieces that I have right here. And just hold it for a bit. But this is pretty much done. Now, for the pockets, I shared that I used a, um, actually, I think this piece came from um, uh, Pink Monarch Prints, and these came, where's that paper? I wrote it here, over here. It's from the Journal Boat where I got these that I was sharing and I reprinted some so you guys could see what they look like. Let me just grab them if I remember where I put them at. Those aren't it. I should have looked for those before I started this video much as you think you're prepared you're not oh, let's see nope that's not it okay I know it's one of these shelves is it this one nope. is it this one yes there we go Found them. okay so these are the ones I, I got and these are the ones that are from um, the journal boat and I purchased her purple botanical kit the shabby pink botanical kit the shabby rose journal kit and the yellow blue botanical kit so the yellow is the one I used on this one here and uh, which I was doing it in cardstock and I ran out of cardstock so I got one in uh, paper so that's okay 
But see, there's the tags. You get a lot of pieces, and they're awesome. She's got a lot of, uh, oops, she's got a lot of awesome kits. Um, but yeah, they're just, you know, mixed up. I just grabbed a bunch. And I guess go back, because I wasn't in frame. They're just, you know, from all of those kits that I got, I just grabbed pretty much the ephemera ones. But how pretty are they? Like, she's got really nice stuff, too. There's that one. There's that one. And look, she even has butterflies. Really pretty butterflies. So, okay. Now that I shared that, we got to decide which ones do we want to use. Do we want to do a yellow one? Or do I want another color? Let's see. That's pretty, too, the purple. You know what? The one I needed. <laughs> Actually, no, not this one either. I needed one with. Nope, that is. That's everything I printed. Okay. So since I did that, then I'm going to have to. Well, I'm glad I showed you these. This is probably the ephemera that I will probably use here, but for the tags to make the pockets, I know I have some printed, I mean, not printed, cut up here. Let me just go through them. See, got a little pile here. See, these are some of the, uh, that go with that one, with the yellow one. So yeah, she's got a lot of um, fun stuff. And then see, you got some pockets here that you can use as smaller ones. I know I used one of those. I like that one with the flowers. I was thinking of going another color, but I have a feeling I'm going to go with the yellow again. little things and that's what I like about the the kit too there um, I mean she gives you a lot of um, small medium and large pieces um, so you have a lot to play with to choose from and I just dropped something so okay, I'm gonna leave that there I'm thinking the rose too look that looks pretty too but see, these are the the yellow ones too. Um, I need to separate these by sizes. They're just all over the place. I just fussy cut them and made a pile. Look at that one's pretty too. Ay ay ay. See, this is why you're not supposed to pull out a lot of stuff because then you're just like, I want this. Oh, no, I want this. Oh, I think I want those. I love that one. Look at that one. Yep, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> I just feel like I want to use this one, but I feel like I need to have one. That one has some yellow that will coordinate better. I think that's it. All the other ones. Okay. Hmm. But I... I like this one too. The only thing is I'm going to have to trim there. How is it going to look? It may not look cute. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to go for the yellow one. Yeah. I should have picked it. Look how cute. 
I guess I'm not ready to let it go, huh? <laughs> Look at even that one. Should we do a pink? Okay. You're like, Patty, just do something. I know, I know. I'm a very indecisive, indecisive chick. Last look, last look. Ooh, look at that one. That could be my center, but definitely going to have to cut it. Okay. Put you over there. We've decided. All right. So, oh, not that one. So for here, see, I like that. The only thing is, this, it should have been a longer tag where I could just cut the top like I did on those. But then this one, what I did is I cut it and did a belly band, but then it's going to cut up all the, look at this. I don't know if I make sense, guys. In my head, I do. <laughs> See, like that one can fit there. I just want to use some of these tags because, I mean, they give you a lot. Oh, look at that one. Okay. We're good there. Throw you over there. So then what I'm going to do here is on this one, on the original one, we have a belly band. So that, actually I'm going to do a belly band with this one. This one's, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut just bury a little sliver to make it fit. I'm going to say right there. Yeah, okay. And so now I have space to cut the edge here. So I'm just going to cut a little bit because I don't want it that, um, I'll say there. We don't want a, a really thick belly band. So see, I'm going to do that there. And then for this one, I just did a little side pocket. You, again, can do a belly band or a different style of pocket. This tag's a little bigger. Let me stretch my hands here. And I'm going to say about there. Oh, hope you guys can't hear that because my Joey's uh, snoring. Okay, so I do need to, because it's a small little pocket we're working with, definitely got to make it slimmer. Now, is that slim enough? Okay, maybe a tad more. Yeah, that was a little more than a tad. Get this mess. This is my little trash can for the table. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got that. So now we're just going to distress it. Oh, somebody's dog's going cuckoo. That one there. But yeah, there's a lot of kits that you get and they have a lot of uh, tags and stuff that, you know, we don't end up using them all. Why not use them, use them to make pockets and stuff, you know? So that one will be there. And that one will be there. So now we just got to deal with the middle pocket. And I was thinking about this one. So, move these out of the way real quick. So I definitely... Make sure I'm gonna say there. Get my pencil. Let me just say there. So then I'm definitely gonna take the um oh sides there. I'm not gonna use um I'm just gonna glue it down, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And here And then the bottom one, I could leave it. 
but I'm actually you know what it might be I'm thinking maybe I should trim it a little more because I don't want it too high well let me cut the bottom off and see before we do that but I'm thinking I may have to see because if I put it there I feel like you know it's too high maybe but then I would have to cut some of that butterfly do I want to do that oh what the hell just a little bit I like the way it looks as is but I feel like I want to bring it down a little bit so there now we're just going to distress it what I'm trying to figure out is how am I supposed to tell on the time I can't see it guys I put the phone in a different angle and I can't see it Usually it's right in front of me. Not this time. But if for some reason I keep it, keep going and it cuts off, um, it'll be a two part and I'll just, you know, up the both pieces. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. And then we said this is a belly band. And this is going to be a, a little side tuck. I like that. And I think the background looks really good with those um, those um, tags I chose. So, I want to sew them, guys. <laughs> I want to sew them. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is put everything together. And then I'll sew it after. But, um... Yeah, because I want to I want to sew it. I feel like that's that's what it's gonna look cute. Mm. So then, what I need to do now? I like that one. This one can go in the middle. So I can put it in there. Okay, so that one will be there. Now we just need to find our items that will go in the. <gasps> you know what I forgot, guys. I forgot to run the lace through the bottom. Oh well, we'll, we'll cover it. Mm, what is this doing here? Okay, so then here. but it doesn't go with it. I think that's cute. Actually, oh, that's too big. So yeah, what I'm going to do is pick my pieces. And what I could do is, oh, these are so cute. Look at that. Oh, but they don't go. I have this one. That one may look good there. So for the others, I don't think. Look at that. Isn't that cute? How could I fit that in there? It's so tiny. Okay. Leave it alone, Patty. Leave it alone. See, I have this cute little envelope. I'm thinking, would it fit? Let's check real quick. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. It'll even fit over here. Okay. This looks like it's the same, so I may pop it on this end. Well, that'll go there. So, I think these are all big pieces. 
Oh my goodness, that's the second time I dropped something. That's blue, that won't go. See, these little pockets are perfect right there. But we want a different color. That's cute too. Okay, focus, Patty, focus. This is cute. Oh, it's this way. Yeah. We could pop that one there with the little tag. Now I'm not liking the tag. Okay, we'll leave you up there just in case. Oh, and then these are the ones that I used in the inside these pockets. But I know I have to trim them around, so I am going to... I guess I'll pick these two for that. And these are, I think, from, from uh, Victoria Designs. Um... It's going to be too big. This one's pretty, but... Okay, if that goes there. Yeah, that's too big. That won't fit. I'm doing the video, guys. So... These are smaller. No, they're still too big. Okay, not those. Whoops, sorry guys, I tapped on the camera. I don't know from what kit are these from. But these are some small little tidbits, you could say. I'm wondering if I can tuck That may work. Oh, I like that one for there. Okay, maybe this one, but I'll have to trim it down. So now we need just something for there. There's these little Small journaling cards that can go there. These are from Artie Mays. Even this one, just cut it and leave it as a tag. Will fit there. See if it'll if it'll look good. This is another way to use up these pockets too that come with kits. And if you're like me, you don't you rarely use them. So this is a perfect way to use them. Just cut the edges off, and it's a cute little journaling card. So that can be in there too, or both. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, let me get up and see if I can see the time through this side. What are we in minutes? Uh, oh, shoot, we're already an hour. Okay, so I'll just stop right here. I'm gonna stitch around my items. And then we will do the last little uh, bit that we need. But we're pretty much there. So, yes, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.